Let me see how I'm gonna start. I don't even really know how I'm gonna start this. How I'm gonna start this? Uh, shit. I guess that's kind of like the beauty in it, you know. The beauty of it all is like sometimes you don't really have a real, you know, starting point. You know, sometimes you just gotta jump right on in, get right on in into the deep water, jump right in, man, and uh, and just try to stay afloat. <laughs> Being honest, just jump right in and keep floating as long as you can, and. As it pertains to this music thing, man, I jumped in a long time ago, a long time ago, and you know, the the tide didn't change, and I didn't have to deal with the weather changing from it being blazing hot to it being freezing cold, below freezing temperatures, and you know, predators and other animals in the water that want to kill you, and and everything like that, and like, fast forward and like. I'm still here, man, you know, I'm still here. So like to go through what I've been through and then go through it all just kind of by myself in silence because that's just how I was kind of conditioned to deal with things, to go through what I went through and still not only be here, but be on the like, on the cusp of like thriving. You know, when I'm right there, I'm right there and knocking on the door of my True potential, man. I can't. I can't allow myself to stop. I can't allow myself to stop floating. You know, I've been floating for a long time, and so now I'm strong at floating. I've gotten really, really good at floating, and now since I've been here for a minute, I feel like I'm ready to start swimming and going somewhere. You feel me? And it ain't easy, you know. Sometimes you, you know, if I'm just being honest, like. I done had those moments, I done had those times where I was just like, you know, I don't, I, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, I don't know this. It look like it, it ain't working, ain't nothing working. Like, it feel like I'm doing the right things, I'm doing it for the right reason. I'm doing it with the right intention and like shit is just not happening. You know, sometimes when you just struggling just to get the balance, it'd be like, man, you know what, fuck it, I, I gotta let something go. I gotta let something go, I gotta give up something, I gotta, you know, put less focus on this so I can, you know, get better at these other things. And when it comes to the music shit, bro, like even the thought of it for me, the thought of giving up makes me literally sick to my stomach. It makes me so fucking sick to my stomach, man. Especially when I feel like I'm right there. I feel like I'm right there. And I feel like I just wouldn't be able to live with myself and I hell, I wouldn't even be able to live with others. Let's say I gave up that shit and like I gave up because you know I, I'm a pretty simple dude. I want all, I want the the wife, the family, all that type of shit. But I have to do this and make sure that I at least give all my you know uh, effort and energy into this because I know if like I give up this without giving it a real go, and I end up attaining those other things like the wife, the kids, the family, and all that type of shit, I know that I won't be fully there. I won't be fully myself. I won't be, you know, fully active as I, I won't be as active as I can be as a human being in those situations because I didn't give effort towards the thing that really fulfilled me, my first love, which is music, man. And I'm always have that resentment. I'm always have that, that feeling of like, what if, what if I tried? What if I didn't give up? And like, just that resentment and that and that kind of like wandering, that shit can lead and turn into bitterness, man. And to be bitter and spread bitterness towards somebody you love, towards the kids that you got to take care of and everything, that shit just, it creates just a very bad environment. I've seen it firsthand, man, you know? Like, I literally, i never forget being in high school, and I ain't going to say name, I ain't going to say specifically who it was. But I remember being in high school my senior year, and uh, I was talking to one of the teachers who I had known for a while. And um, I had recently just got like accepted to Berkeley. I got in along with uh, one of my uh, homies. He got in as well. And we were just talking about like what we were doing and what our dream was going to be and what we, you know, set out to do as far as like our goals and shit. Just talking like just regular, like young adolescent minds just who are hopeful about their futures and shit. 
And this teacher, this whole grown ass nigga, literally gonna talk about. That's the problem with y'all kids. Y'all dream too big. Y'all have these goals that are too much. Y'all dream too damn big. I'm like, and that moment always just stuck. And he was he was just so befuddled too. Like he was just so like, it was like he was triggered by these kids' ambitions. These kids could be doing 50 million other other things that could be destructive to them and to people around them. But now these two little niggas want to take what they do, want to take their talent, take that up to a, a place that they ain't never been and try to make some of themselves, man. And like, here you go, this whole grown ass nigga trying to tear down some kids' dreams, bro. I don't know, like that shit just never sat well with me. And I, and I, I remember it vividly. It's so clear in my mind. It's so clear in my memory bank. And it always stuck with me. And like, you know, now I've been out of college for, you know, at this point, I've been out of college for over uh, four years now. I, you know, I done got my degree and everything. And, you know, I'm starting to make things happen. But I always keep stuff like that in my memory bank. It's just like, damn, like, I'm, I'm sorry that you went through what you went through. I'm sorry that I, I, you know, I assume that you probably had like a similar dream of being the best at whatever you're talented at. And, you know, want, not only wanting to be the best at it, but also make a nice living at it. Obviously, you here with us, so it, it didn't work out. I'm sorry about that, but that has nothing to do with me, my nigga. That has nothing to do with me and my my work ethic. That has nothing to do with me and my ambition. That has nothing to do with me and my potential, bro. So, like, for you to not only try to kill somebody else's dream, but then kill the dream of like his, man. Like, come on, what type of <laughs> what type of human being are you to do that shit? Yeah. And like at this point, man, I'm just too obsessed. This is the first thing that I think about when I wake up in the morning. It's the last thing I think about before I lay my head down and shut my eyes for the night, man. Like I'm just too obsessed. And, and anything in between, if I'm not working at my day job, I'm doing something to this, you know. And I'm only working my day job just so I can have money to make my, my music. You know, I, I'm one of the few people who like, I don't make music to make money. I make money so I can make music. To see opportunity finding me and me being prepared for it, it has me so excited and it has me just wanting to do more. And like the more like little wins that I get, the more amped I get, the more powered up I get. I, and like that, that dog that's in me just really, it really starts to come out when I see like the little wins. Cause like, you know, you do this for so long and you put your head down and you put your blinders up, you try to shut out all the noise and everything, and you just keep working, you're working, you're being diligent, and you just don't let it go. Without any real, like, gauge on, like, is it working? Is is it is it actually going somewhere? And you, you're just doing it out of the hope that it will. And then when that hope starts shedding some light, you start seeing the little cracks of light peeking through, you don't see the full... You don't see the full sun rays yet, but you see like the little light cracking through. And you just be like, oh, oh man, I can't stop. I can't stop, bro. Like, it'd be one thing if I was doing this. I've been doing this since I was eight years old, man. And it'd be one thing if like, I just never seen any real success. I haven't seen any light and I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. You know, then I can see, you know, getting up into this age now, I'm about to be 27 on the six. I can see that, you know, if I've been doing it for that long since I was eight, now I'm about to be 27. I haven't seen any type of growth, any type of success, any type of like potential um, from this. And then maybe you can be like, yeah, maybe we need to reconsider things and maybe we need to, you know, uh, reconsider and reevaluate what we're doing and, and maybe adjust and probably go and do something else. Maybe I can kind of get it in that point. But man, the highs that I've had over these last, you know, uh, Years, especially these last four years, man, that I've been back home. The the highs, they've been real high. The lows been fucking low. They've been in the the the, the core of hell. They've been real low. But my highs, though, my highs have been so inspirational for me. They've given me so much light. They've given me so much wisdom. They've given me so much drive and heart. And it's just like. That shit feels good. Just plain and simple, that shit feels fucking good. I'm not fucking leaving. This is my home. They're gonna need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here. They're gonna need to send in the national ball to fucking swap me. I ain't going nowhere. Wake him up.
Niggas must have thought I was serious, I bet Take a minute, let me make it real clear now Why would I stop? Been a witness to a life of little limits Got it takes me tripping, never quit sipping now Why would I stop? Want your bitch back, she already chose Who am I to tell her don't be a hoe? So why would I stop? Face fucked her off the edge of the bed I knew that she had a bright road ahead Now why would I stop? For sight, kept a nigga on the path In the past I felt the wrath of the present Lesson, focused on the now, keep you treading Scared the drum, moving forward with the tongue of a river Asking why would I